Looking after your gut is so important to our overall health. One alternative modality you could consider doing to take care of it is a colonic irrigation. Now, some of the benefits can include removing excess waste, reducing gas or bloating, and an overall feeling of lightness and increased energy. Jaya, in its simplest terms, what is colonic irrigation? So a colonic is when you cleanse the colon, which is our large intestine or our large bowel, from waste. So what sits in there is our stool, otherwise known as poo. We've got bacteria, yeast, undigested food, and all of the weird and the wonderful. Now, from what I understand, there's different methods of colonic irrigation. That's right. And you specialise in Woods Gravity. What's that? So Woods Gravity is a method where we don't fill the colon with any water. It's a very manual and natural way to have a colonic. And one thing I really want to make clear is that a colonic should never be painful. So whilst it's not the most comfortable procedure, the benefits outweigh that. So peristalsis are the muscular contractions of the digestive system. Yep. And they're, what, they're like wave-like motions that propel the waste in your colon into the rectum and into the toilet. What I'm actually doing and what happens during a colonic is that we activate those muscular contractions. Mm. So we're stimulating bowel movements, essentially. When we talk about gut health, we often refer to it as our second brain. There's yeah. a huge connection there mm. in our immune system, our mental health. Can you tell me it's not just about what we eat, it's what we absorb. That's and if right. we've got our gut out of order, That's right. then we're not going to absorb our nutrients. That's right. So a really big focus for us is ensuring that our microbiome is actually balanced. So our balance of friendly and unfriendly bacteria. So colonics are great for helping to clear imbalances and to keep our gut lining strong. And it's really interesting because oftentimes a lot of people think if you're unhealthy, that's why you need a colonic. But people who do lead a healthy lifestyle will still benefit and do need colonics as well. And what is the sign of a good colonic? Look, as a colon therapist, it's very satisfying to watch what comes out. So I like to see a lot of movement and a lot of gas come out. Actually, you'd be quite um, surprised. When a lot of stuff doesn't come out, that usually means we've got a lot of work to do. So a healthy colon is one that removes a lot of waste. All right, so that feeling is now we've moved waste into the rectum. Have we? But I need you to breathe. I think there's a bit of tensing, which is normal. And I'm also trying to work out that balance between releasing and not pushing. That's right. No, you're doing well. Honestly, these are all normal feelings for someone having a colonic for the first time because it's very new sensations, but there's also a fear of the unknown. So you're seeing waste come out? I have. I've seen it a little bit. We're still working on the bigger stuff, to be honest, yep. which we'll get to. Nice deep breaths, Luke. Doing great. Excellent. Nice deep breath. So they say after you've had colonic irrigation that you can feel lethargic, lightheaded, but I feel the complete opposite. I feel so energised, like I could take on anything. I'm going to absolutely nail this day. Now, I almost feel a bit embarrassed that I was, you know, nervous or self-conscious at the beginning because there was nothing to feel that way about. I felt comfortable the entire time. It was a strange sensation, yes. Uncomfortable? No, not at all. I feel so, so good and I'll definitely be back.